Welcome to another Demarcation Media Mega Constructs review. This is a video I did not think I was going to be making because to be honest, I really wasn't sure if we were going to see Halo TV show sets. And I honestly did not want to see Halo TV show sets. The show, I mean, I feel like we're all generally on the same page about the show. I know there's some of you guys who did enjoy it, but, uh, the most issue that I take, you know, aside from the fact that they have ruined Chief, is the fact that they just had really lazy writing throughout much of it. I didn't watch the entire thing all the way through. I watched bits of it, and I watched all kinds of the breakdowns and people talking about it and whatnot, and it just was poorly written. But despite that, despite the, the fiasco that was the show, um, Mega has made some really cool sets, and I'm actually really excited to take a look at this. So the set, or the, the, the waves have three sets. This is the smallest, there's one that's a little bit bigger, and then there's the big one, which is the Warthog. And before we get into this, I just wanna say, right now, this is available on Amazon. As of the time of the recording of this video, it is still available. It is $9.99, that is retail, and you can get it shipped and they tend to ship decently quick mine took a little longer because mine was technically i guess during the pre-order phase where it was like in between batches uh, i don't know but they've sold over 400 units and they are still available so i guess there's a lot of stock which is really really good um, but yeah so today we're going to be taking a look at, at the fleetcom mongoose which is the smallest set and it's honestly an interesting size because it's very small and it's square. And it has this tab up at the top so you could like hang it. So I'm curious to see if these do show up in stores or not. They have not showed up in any stores as of right now, not that I know of, but I don't know, we'll see. Box art looks nice. We got the mongoose driving along. There's a nice backdrop there. We got the mega halo up at the top. Paramount plus original Halo, the series. And the Marine is like one-handing the uh, battle rifle, which is kind of funny. And then on the side, we have Master Cheeks himself, which the armor here looks fantastic. The thing, like, cover that up. That's not a bad-looking Master Chief. He just should not have his helmet off. But that we've beaten that topic to death. On the back, we get to see the set laid out, and then we get to see the Banshee, Renegade Banshee, and then the Warthog set. So, yeah, pretty nice box, fairly simple. There is the uh, there is the little code there, and also it says support.megabrands.com. I wonder if that is actually working, like if you can actually get customer support there, because customer support has been all over the place lately. But let's go ahead and get this thing open. My box did come a little banged up because Amazon just shipped it in a bubble mailer, but to be honest, I really don't care. I know a lot of people get mad about that sort of thing, but for me, I'm just going to end up throwing this box away. It's not a thick plastic, or not a thick cardboard. It's not plastic at all. I thought it was going to be a thicker cardboard, but it's actually not. Oh, that does look really nice. I like that. But yeah, it's a fairly thin, thin box. We got one, two bags of parts, no sign of the cardboard packaging, oddly enough. And we can just toss that. Let's take a look at the instructions. Looks really nice, actually. I love the fact that the name is up here. Also, it's hilarious that the other language version, we have Fleetcom Mongoose, and then it's just Mongoose Fleetcom. Looks fairly normal. Uh, I'm interested in seeing these new handlebars, the new handlebar assembly, and then we get to see that, and oh, we get to see it more up close here. Now, I honestly think that this will be all we will see set-wise for season one of the Halo show. This feels like a pretty complete first wave, and I think that we probably won't see any more Halo show sets until... Um, until season two happens, which is happening, unfortunately. I could be wrong, but that's just my guess. So, um, you know what? To be honest, it's been a while since I did a speed build, so we're just gonna go ahead and build this right here.
All right, and we are done. That honestly was an incredibly quick build. It was literally, I think, like four minutes of building. I mean, it is just uh, one mongoose. And honestly, I got to say the set feels kind of premium. Like, it, I don't know. It just kind of does. I'll talk a little bit more about it. But for now, let's go ahead and jump in and look at that figure. And here he is. This is, I guess, supposed to be one of the, I mean, obviously, it's supposed to be one of the Marines from the show, but to be honest, it just kind of looks like a variant of the Infinite Marine, mainly because it uses Infinite Marine parts. Um, the coloring is different, but that's about it. Like, I don't feel like anything about this is specifically uh, Halo TV show related. There's actually a lot going on here, so I want to talk about my nitpicks first. First of all, this green, I like the green, but you can see the difference between the upper legs and the lower legs is pretty darn different. Like that's, that's, that's not great. It's speckled, which is partially why. And then Mega just often has trouble regulating their greens that way. Um, and then my dude has this piece here. I'm going to pop his arm off. Sorry, dude. Um, you can see it's got like this warping happening and you can pop the piece back together. But because this tab is like bent, if you move it, it just pops back. So I'm going to have to fix that. So that's my other nitpick. And then my last nitpick right off the bat is the fact that the hands seem to have, and this typically is like first run issues, but they grab the gun, but don't hold the gun, if that makes sense. It doesn't hold the gun super, super well, which I don't love. I think that it's a bit annoying. You can kind of on this side it kind of holds it a little better but yeah that that to me is a bit of a bummer um but those things aside those are those are all fairly minor nitpicks and they won't always happen to everybody's um figures but yeah the rest of the figure looks nice i really like the green the green is nice the gray is nice as well it makes him stand out from the infinite marines and i'm going to do a whole separate video getting this guy next to an infinite marine so we can kind of see the difference but it looks it looks good and we have some print actually we actually kind of have a lot of print for a figure like this so let's get in a little closer there we go now we can see a little better so on this shoulder we have a unsc symbol printed in black the helmet has that super super low contrast gray it looks like a little bit of the gold from the visor made its way up there but has a super low contrast for the gray on the band back here. This side, I don't really know what that symbol is. Is that the silver team symbol? What is that? I don't know. I didn't bother to figure it out because it's a halo show symbol. I don't know. It looks cool, but I don't really know what it is. And then around the front, he's got a UNSC symbol on the chest plate, which to me makes that chest plate way more useful. And then he's got this really, really nice painted up battle rifle. Look at that. That's slick. That can be used in all kinds of stuff. And it's just really good looking. And then also, obviously, his helmet is removable. His head underneath is pretty, pretty good. There was actually a lot of like speckling or like flaked off plastic on it when I first took his helmet off. I got a bunch of it off, but he had that. His eye paint is a little thick. But that isn't too bad. That's honestly a pretty nice looking head. I'm actually pretty happy with this guy. He's a pretty nice looking Marine. I really would honestly love to get some more of these guys um, in a different set. I Because right now, this is the only set to include a Marine. So I would not be opposed to seeing a platoon pack with these guys. Get some different skin tones in there um different weapons and that would be honestly great or even a conflict pack with two of these guys and two i don't know two enemies of some sort but yeah it's a good looking figure you also get a stand with him as you saw earlier not bad army building him is a little tough right now because you have to army build mongoose as well if you want more than i don't know a handful but it's a good figure. My only complaints are those that I stated right off the bat, and I think some of those will vary, like the hands and also, of course, that shoulder. That will not happen to everybody. 
And now we come to the mongoose itself. And I got to say, I was a little bit um, jarred by the just the design of it. But after looking at it more and after building it, it's kind of growing on me. I got to admit, it does look a lot more like the old um, Call of Duty ATV set that Mega made than their mongoose, mongoose. So I have a couple other mongooses to compare with. This is the infinite one. Um, I'm a little sad that they did away with the suspension because this is a whole lot of fun. This is a lot of fun to fiddle around with. Um, and then here's the Oni one, which I feel like looks a bit more akin to this one. But the huge difference is the front. This has a very Jeep looking front, whereas the mongoose typically had a smooth front. What is cool is they brought back this piece here which was originally on the old drop pods, the like Halo 4 and 5 ones. And I wanted to try this because this, come on, uh, get in there. Look at that. That is cool. You could do that easily. That looks great. So it's cool to see this. This is a printed piece actually, which is super cool. And there's a lot of printed pieces. So $10 might feel like a lot when you consider that it's just a mongoose and a marine. However, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight printed, no, sorry, nine printed pieces on this. That's insane. Usually we don't get that many in sets this size. There also seems to be new parts. I don't know. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. This might even be the same bull bar used for the original COD ATV, but this is new to me. I've never seen these pieces and they fit together in a really interesting way. Um, that piece there is new to me. And they also decided to do a different assembly for the handlebars, which I'm actually curious to try out. So first of all, it looks like he can actually stick his feet down, which is not something that we've been able to do before on the mongoose. And then the handlebars are wider. So let's see how, Yeah, yeah, that works better. The hands obviously are, like I was saying, they're kind of finicky and they don't want to stick real well. Oh, he can even look like he's turning too. That's cool. It was always so hard to get these handlebars to work right. Um, these are, I think the new one's slightly wider, slightly longer. They've done something. It seems to work a little bit better. So that's cool. And also I really like the fact that this is not the metallic green. It is a kind of flat green. They used it on the new Marines, the, the new Halo 3 Marines, and I like it here. Wheels are kind of cool. They are not the normal mongoose wheels. You can see the difference. And they've also changed the back seat here. So this is actually a printed piece. They printed yellow here. It's a slightly different color than the actual piece used. Um, but I believe that is to keep the Marine or whoever you have on the back better seated. However, it is only attached on by this front piece. So that does make it a little bit flimsy. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I would have put something in there, but you can have a dude sit on the back quite easily. Yeah, I'm, I honestly kind of like this. It's weird looking. It's not instantly recognizable as a mongoose but it's kind of nice. It's got its own little charm to it, a little bit more blocky than usual, and the amount of prints is really good. Like, I, I love that. I, I, don't, I don't know, I kind of like it. I think it's kind of cool. It's, it's different. I think, I think Mega did a good job here. I honestly do not remember ever seeing a mongoose show up in the Halo show. I saw warthogs and banshees and phantoms, but I didn't ever see a mongoose, so maybe I just missed it. But yeah, I don't, I don't really have any complaints with this aside from the flimsiness of this back seat. Well, there you have it. That is the Halo TV show Fleetcom Mongoose set. I am honestly really liking this. The size feels really nice. The, um, the price point feels really nice. The pieces in here all feel really useful. The amount of prints is great. The figure himself is pretty well done. Like I said, there was a few nitpicks and I did notice actually after I was saying those things that the visor is a little off on the one side, but it's not hugely noticeable. Um, the, all the printing on the figure, like all the extra stuff, like the UNSC symbol and whatnot, and the battle rifle is all great. 
it's just it feels really solid yes i know that this design may not appeal to everyone this design of the mongoose but it is interesting it's different it's not just this same design this same design has been reused four times now and i think it's nice to get something different and new um it's yeah i like the new handlebars i think that they work a little better they feel like they work a little better the new seat for the back is better i like this i think it's cool i think that the amount of pieces that are here you could even take some of these apart if you wanted to army build and use stuff like that symbol and just there's useful things here so i don't know i'm happy with it i think it's good it's a solid charming little set and i think mega did a good job so like i said the retail price is ten dollars you can get it on amazon right now i will put a link in the description and in the pinned comment and i'd recommend you pick one up i don't know if it's available on amazon in other countries yet but if it is grab one give it a try and despite it being from the tv show i think it's worth buying that is my two cents there and it's kind of fun to zoom around rolls pretty well thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and consider subscribing and i'll see you next time